hello friends welcome to tutorials point in this tutorial we will talk about how do we process the background jobs in your SAP system and what are the different priorities of the background jobs and how to create a background job in your SAP environment in your practical so let us start with what is background job processing what is a background job background jobs are jobs in SAP system that run in the background and it doesn't affect the normal operation in the system so they are used to reduce the manual effort and to automate the processes they run in the background without requiring any user input and they can be scheduled to run when your system load is low so background jobs you can say they are the automated processes that executes in the background and they normally do, do not require any user input and they auto you can automate the process without any user intervention so these jobs they, they normally run in your SAP environment when the system load is low now let us move to the background job categories what are the different categories that comes under background jobs so when you define a background job in your SAP environment you can select from the different options class A, class B and class C class A represents high priority jobs so these are the critical tasks that must be scheduled with a class A priority so class A jobs reserves one or more background work processes so this is higher priority task so in case you have any critical task you should define it as a class A so these jobs will run in the high in priority then class B class B is medium priority background jobs these jobs are ex executed after the completion of class A jobs so class B jobs they are the medium priority jobs and they are executed in the background system once the class A jobs are completed next is class C jobs class C jobs or low priority jobs they, these jobs they are low priority in category and they normally run when your class A and class B jobs are completed transaction code to execute the background jobs the transaction code that is use, used in your SAP environment is SM36 so the note says that you need to release the job it so that it can run when you schedule a job you have to go to job overview and you have to release the job even the job is scheduled for immediate processing no job can run without first being released so it means that to execute a job in your SAP environment it should be released first now let us go to SAP system and see how we can do a background job processing so this is my SAP environment I will run the transaction SM36 now once you execute the transaction you reach to this define background job screen so here to start with you have to enter the general data general data it includes job name let us say we want to run a test job so let us name it as a job name as a test now this is the job class that we have just discussed like you can define the class A class B and class C higher priority middle priority and low priority then you have the target server target server it defines the server on which you want to execute the job so this is used for the load balancing purpose so you can select from different target servers if you have multiple processors to execute the job you can select from available options so we have this server so we'll select this target server so once you define this general data next is you have to go to your step tab at the top 
so step tab at the top what is the step so job step it allows you to treat complex task as a single unit so you can schedule several programs that are needed to complete a particular task within a single job so once you click on this step tab at the top here you have the multiple options you can select an abap program here or external command here or an external program also so here you define the set of programs within a single job so that completes a single task so once you come to this step tab let us select an abap program click on this tick mark you will see all the programs that are there in the list so let us select we want to run this program a web program variant you can also select a variant of the program if you have not defined the variant you can leave this option as a blank once you select this options now next is to check this it says this is an invalid program so let us say we want to change the program type click on this option again go to this tick mark and select some other program once you select this program check this and this is fine now next is to save this option click on this save so this has been saved now so you can say this program name here and the program type is here then username and the language so this step list is shown here now to pass the start condition click on the back button here you can see that in job steps it shows that one step successfully defined now to pass the start condition you have this start condition at the top once you click on the start condition you can def you can see the various options various start conditions that you can pass to your background job we have an immediate option immediate means the job will run immediately and you can also select a periodic job once you select the periodic job you have to select the periodic period values period values can be weekly daily hourly monthly or other period that you can want to define here let us uncheck this date and time if you want to schedule this job at a particular start date and time you can select that option here next is after job if you want your job to be run after the completion of a particular job so you can enter the name of that job and then this job will be executed once that job is completed next is after event after event option this allows you to run the job when a specific event is triggered so once you click on this after event so this event is uh, event option is enabled and you can select from the different event options next is at operation mode you can also select a job to run at the operation mode you can enter the name of the operation mode and this job will be executed so let us say if we want to run this job as a immediate let us check this option we will not select as a periodic job check and save so this condition has been entered start condition has been entered now you have to save this job click on save button once the once you click on this save button this job has been saved now if you want to release the job click on this save button again and you will see the status job saved with status released so this job is released to execution now so this is how you can schedule a background job in your sap environment so in this tutorial we have covered how you can perform the background job scheduling what are the different job classes and how to release a job 
and what are the different step conditions and the start condition that you can pass to a background job thank you